I, I just, I don't know. There's just so much LUL content that oh, I just can't keep up. Hello there guys, Qwerty Afri here, welcome back to another video and today I am finally catching up on something that I, uh, as you know last year basically just didn't really do any sort of videos but I'm really trying to catch up on stuff that I would have done if I was doing videos and today I have such a treat for you guys. Uh, it's out already, like I'm pretty sure you guys know it, you've probably played it but this is my first time really diving deep in it downloaded it all today and i'm very excited and if you don't know what i'm talking about i am talking about backdated trans uh, backdated train sims virtual districts line and it is phase two uh just doing all these different sort of phases with london underground content we did phase three of the jubilee line on open.bv and now i'm doing phase two of virtual district lines by backdated train sim and this is actually my first train simulator 2020 video if that makes any sort of, uh, I, I don't think anyone really cares at this point. It's train sim classic. I just, it's train sim classic. And I think at some point, I think the, the game should just be called train sim classic. I just refer to it as train sim classic, or even most, some people refer to it as train sim one compared to, you know, uh, train sim world. I think even train sim world now is called like train sim world 2020 or whatever. I think re we, the year should just be cut out the name, just TS classic. I, I, I'm completely happy with that. Uh, but 2020 is what I'm running. Uh, if, if you want to know 64 bit as the usual, uh, let's get this. Let's let's just get this show on the road. This is going to be quite a lengthy video, uh, which I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I, I I'm not really too bothered anymore, really, about oh I want to do these kind of length videos. I'm just if I if I feel that it's a scenario that's worth doing, doesn't matter how long it is. I'm going to give you guys the content that you deserve. That is 2020. It is literally about content for you guys and just reliving the passion that maybe sort of get into YouTube. I suppose I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm on the Virtual District Lines uh, Phase 2. Oh, God, I need, <laughs> need to drink a bit more water. <sighs> Very thirsty, and also it's so, so cold. You might think I'm overdressing with a scarf, but it's so cold. We have had, you know, Storm, Kyra, Sierra, <coughs> whatever you want to call it. It's been battering the UK. I'm, I'll talk a bit more about as well how it's affected me as well with my job, but... Anyway, we're on the Virtual District Lines Phase 2. Essentially, Phase 2 is an extension of the Wimbledon and Edgeworth Road branch. It has also the C-Stock, which you're going to be driving today. Uh, we also have other stuff like the st uh, Standard Stock available with it. Also, there's the Met, which is like the steam train that you can also drive on certain scenarios with it. Quite a lot of stuff. I'll leave the link down below for backdated train sim down below. Have a look. If you haven't actually, or if you didn't even know, and this is the first time you know about it, have a look down below see what you need to download it and stuff like that uh, if you guys have already played it let me know what you guys have been thinking about this this is my first time really deep diving deep and actually driving a bit i have played around with the c stock just to get familiar with it uh it's not as complicated as the d stock even though the d stock is not that complicated but it has all those kind of flags and stuff like that the c stock is quite simplified in terms of the stock available here you also still have the 1973 stock and scenarios with that you can also play the s8 s7 plus one advance from just trains on this as well on quick drive you i've loaded it in it's fine i do believe there are some sort of patches you can get to make it the full s7 variant which is i think available in alan thompson dot uh dot com uh, i need to look more into that but any of you guys wanted me to do the Metropolitan line from Just Trains, I got it. I will do it at some point. Uh, I have loads of things to say about that as well, including how they've actually bundled it up as like a package uh, for like a product to buy. But that's for another video. I'm in virtual district lines right now. Phase two. Uh, good morning, uh, good morning, driver. The Wimbledon branch has been closed since early this morning, going to a signal failure at Parsons Green due to heavy rain we had recently. Uh, load your passengers and leave when the starter clears, which may be a while. Services are patchy until we get back to normal. So this is kind of like a, maybe even sort of a reflection, in a way, a little bit of a reflection of what's actually going on with. Um, 
right now in the UK uh, with Storm Cairo, Sierra. I think it's Cairo, but it's kind of spelled like Sierra, which is kind of really weird, but Cairo, whatever. Uh, let's get the wiper on here. Oh. That is very odd. I've never seen that. That's quite, that's quite a bug. Oh, well, that's working, apparently. That's the most weirdest bug I've seen there with the wiper. That's a man. Uh, let me uh, activate the cab. Let's get headlights on. Let's get saloon lights on, which I think if we go into the... Because obviously we have a um, passenger view and that's just, you know, the kind of things that we expect with backdated sim and just the C stock looks really good. You know, the D stock looked very good and the time when I actually played it and did a video of it, I was thoroughly enjoyed uh, phase one of the virtual district line so I, I expect nothing less the whole map actually as well itself got updated and um, you know changed with more detail and stuff like that so that's that's really cool as well they actually updated all the kind of existing areas um, and also added all this kind of new stuff down here to Wimbledon and up to Edra Wade where, we go, uh, where we're going. Uh, so the scenario essentially is we're going from Wimbledon, we're going to Edra Road and then we're coming back and doing sort of a return trip. So very lucky. I was thinking of maybe just going up to Edra Road but I thought why not just do the whole scenario for you guys. I know most people won't watch it to the end of the video but I thought oh and we should open the doors that's you know. Even though, actually no, I don't know, were we supposed to release doors? But yeah, it's said to load passengers, but we now have got a single yellow signal here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can, I, I can't remember, I don't know, my memory's a bit patchy. But, uh, let's get going. Uh, I don't know with the D-stock if, um, you could close the doors manually yourself by pressing like the R button. I can't remember. Um, I know with like the S stock you can close your doors, but obviously with, with this C stock you can't. There we go. Off and release. I love the sounds of uh, of this train. Very C stock esque. Very Metro uh, Metro Camwell esque. It, I'm getting very much vibes of um, World of Subways, uh, World of Subways Volume Three. I think World of Subways Volume Three was slightly more detailed, but this is not bad for train sim and especially not bad for uh, freeware. As we come out of Wimbledon, uh, this section of track is uh, obviously on network rail. That's why we got network rail signaling, free aspect signaling. And technically, well, Southwest trains, Southwestern Railway now, but Southwest trains back in this sort of era can technically go on these tracks, so it's all shared. Let's get the power on. I like those uh, mechanical sort of sounds. It's like, I like that. It's obviously like loads of kind of stuff with the camshaft and all those kind of mechanical govins and stuff like that that you would hear on a kind of unit like this. Yeah, the, I'm sorry, I don't know about this wiper glitch, but to be honest, I don't mind it actually. It clears, um, clears the rain and uh, at least our kind of view doesn't get sort of like obstructed and we are coming to a red gotta be a little bit vigilant here oh no. turn to single yellow perfect let's continue obviously london underground struck does not have um aws equipment so like you see the aws um um ramp there to and you're kind of like going over it thinking, oh, I'm going to hear an alarm, but you don't. Uh, braking's pretty good on this unit too. 
don't really have to even use that much. You can just use the uh, the rear static hold one. And then we got some uh, AI, mainly D stock. I don't know if we're going to see any sort of uh, C stock AI. And interestingly enough, there is um, there is S8 marker boards for the S8 stock for some reason. Even though it should be SS for the S7, I think. I don't, I'm not too sure. But as I said, you can run S stock if you want to. Right, Wimbledon Park. Sun clear the doors, We've got a green signal, very good. I do like that. I do love good authentic um, Metro Camwell sounds. Do you believe the max speed on uh, C stocks are actually 40 miles per hour due to the limit on the motors? So even though the speed limit right now is 45, uh, you technically shouldn't go over 40. One of the little facts that you can read up on the manual actually for this uh, virtual disc reclines uh, phase two gives you some like cool little interesting facts about the route and the the traction that you can actually play and use on the, on this route. So I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit, you know, to the actual proper realistic manual of these and just keep it below 40, even though I can go 45. Oh. Coming up now to Southfields. But just the general kind of like detail and stuff is so expected of backdated trains and they just do really good work. And I thoroughly enjoyed when I played phase one, so I I, I wasn't I was definitely looking forward to phase two. I think I did see it when it came out and I was just like, oh, I'm not doing videos currently and I really wanted to cover it. There we go. This station is Southfields. This is a district line train to Edra Road. But guys, Storm Kyra Kira, Sierra, absolute madness. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'm not saying that you should, but if you really want to like have a little bit of a kind of a back, kind of back uh, behind the scenes sort of kind of with my job, like I do post like uh, my kind of like when I can post some stuff like about like trains I drive, what's happening, and like sometimes on duty when odd things happen and let me tell you Sunday uh, which would have been the which would have been the 8th no 9th is today choose no today yeah it would have been the 9th uh, when storm Kira hit I can tell you right now every every kind of train operator network rail British Transport Police, Met Office, everyone was saying, do not travel. If you if you needed to travel, you could travel, but if you don't need to travel, do not travel. And yesterday hit, well, Sunday, I don't know when I'm releasing this video, but on the Sunday when it hit, it hit hard. And I, I knew, like, I knew it was going to be an, an interesting day, but it really, like, went completely tits up. Uh, on the Great Western Mainline when I was driving 
um, as a tree fell onto the line and took down wires on the main lines and it stopped everything and if you did follow me on Twitter you saw that I actually had to basically I had to turn off a unit the unit that I was driving because I, I got to my destination and basically had to keep the unit there and cut the unit off and make it dead and just stay on the unit until like power was restored so it was a very uh, interesting and eventful day for me Right, East Putney. And this is where the connection then goes down onto the uh, the line that goes like to Richmond and Hounslow and to London Waterloo. Right. Get nice little destination boards as well, which is like really nice. I like that. Now we're on the platform anyway, so it doesn't matter where really where I kind of stop to be honest. It'd be so cool if there if there was announcements. But then you could just play World of Subways Volume 3 if you want, to be honest. If you want that kind of circle line sort of experience. Or like sea stock experience to be honest. Always when I like come back and when I when I play like London Underground content on uh, Train Sim, it's always very weird to me because the speeds are so much slower than like uh, like National Rail sort of kind of stock and routes. Like you're, I'm only going up to 30 here, and that's it really. And does it just it just does not feel fast at all. And another thing with the um, Storm Cura is that a lot of uh, operators and a lot of lines had a, a blanket speed restriction of like 50, 50 miles per hour and trust me 50 miles per hour is not fast for like a train. Especially when you compare things that run on like fast lines that go up to like 100 and 125 miles per hour when they are restricted to 50 things go slow, very very slow. Right, crossing the Thames. This is all kind of like new stuff. I've not, you know, this is all new from the from phase one. Oh, I do love the camshaft sort of like sounds. That's good enough. Do you have a few different like sort of camera views as well? And all the kind of stuff that here. I think all these kind of buttons, kind of like tail light stuff, MTBs, cab cooling. What's this one? This one's uh headlights, gauge light, destination light, cab lights, stuff like that, cab lights. You can do like a brake test as well. Brake to select a brake test lamp, which is quite nice. Uh, anything here? Saloon lights, yeah. For the train sim and for fr for a freeware product, I I cannot I really cannot complain. Like this is just like such a treat to be like driving on, and sounds good, looks good. Right, Parsons Green next station. And as you can see, we're kind of like back to uh, London Underground signaling. But it feels like I've just generally, I've just genuinely been doing London Underground content, but there's so much now to kind of like 
do with underground content like bve is like you know i'm in a resurgence with like you know the jubilee line and stuff like that there's like a lot of kind of london underground content to do and then obviously this i had to cover and i wanted to do the metropolitan line first um, this was going to be this video basically but i was actually thinking to myself well my last train sim video was of the s8 um advance so i was like i do i really want to do the next video as as the same sort of kind of thing in train sim or do i want to actually do something which i've been meaning to do since i've gotten back to doing youtube and it's something i know you guys will like i'm pretty sure you guys have already probably played this as well so but this is my kind of like first little proper go at it even though i did have a um a go to just kind of get familiar with the c stock but it's actually not a bad train to really just get used to and get going with as i said with the d stock you do have all those kind of sort of things like the the flags to kind of limit your different speeds It's nice to have a C stock and D stock running again, United. But I do look forward to doing the Metropolitan Line by Just Trains. I've heard interesting things about it. Oh, and there's, I think that's the uh, first uh, Sea Stock AI there. Very nice. And even potentially in the future, I could come back to this and also do like the standard stock, which is like, looks like, a, like you know, it's a pretty old train. But I like that they, there's quite a a lot of different options that you can do with the virtual district lines. I think also you do have uh, a skin pack for the C, D and uh, 1973 stock of the aluminum, aluminium uh, kind of bear skin or bear livery. There we go, full and Broadway. That's nice. I like that. Compressors going off there. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, to be honest, this video is never going to be like anything of me critiquing this negatively because I was going to like it off the bat anyway. If you guys want to do want to download this, definitely have a look at the link below. Uh, tells you basically everything. It's a very simple install. I remember what originally when the virtual district lines came out, it was a quite a complicated install in terms of everything on the forums that you had to get individually. And then I remember the step by step process that you actually had to do to kind of with the files and stuff like that. It was it was a very long installation process, but it's it's now very easy with a simple uh, simple installer. So. It's not one of those that is too complicated or mind-numbing to figure out. I see Excel Center. Oh, no, not Excel Center. Earl's Court Exhibition Center. My brain's like in East London for some reason. I don't know why. I don't go to East London. I don't think about East London, so I don't know why. <laughs> go 
This is West Brompton, where you can change for London Overground and National Rail Services. This is a district line train to Edgware Road. Does anyone kind of like miss this moquette from like the sea stock? I don't know if anyone does. I think it was quite a funky moquette to be honest. You know, a bit edgy, but out there. But then again, to me, the sea stock. To me, the sea stock is not one of the best sort of underground stocks, probably in design. Or not design, but. It definitely wasn't the best sort of utilised stock because it was, first of all, a very, very short train. You know, six coaches was, you know, ever so short compared to like six coaches of a D-stock, which obviously D-stock carriages were made a lot longer. All right, Earl's Court. We're back on sort of home territory here. Another C stock pulled in there from Medra Road from Kaika Street, Kensington. Ooh. Well, I'm so sorry, passengers in the first car coach you're just gonna have to do the limbo <laughs> you're gonna have to do the limbo underneath an s8 marker <laughs> an s8 marker board wow Junction indicator one there because we're going to be crossing lines. Perfect. One thing to also note when you do load into virtual district lines, I don't know if it's the same with the phase one, but we're just talking in the sense of phase two. Uh, change your FOV because it's quite zoomed in and to have this kind of zoomed out sort of FOV. Uh, if you're running 32-bit, all you do is you go into the Steam property settings and then like start, start. I can't remember what it's called, it's like a start launcher thing where you can type in a, a code, uh, like a dash set FOV at certain value. And if you're running 64-bit, you go into your Dovetail Games directory folder, something like uh, I think it's dev scripts and then you just edit a value in a notepad file to I think it's 80 is what the manual recommends and what all these stocks that come with this map are set for Well, not really much else to do here. Uh, quite low speed limits into uh, into High Street Ken. Well, there seems to be a little D stop there in platform three, I think. Yeah. Right. Let's try a little. You know, let's be a little bit brave here. Oh no, and I completely buttered it up. But that's fine. Can recover like that. I do not want to look at the front of the train. I'm just gonna if you look at the HED you can see the the error in my ways but we're just gonna ignore that Hammersmith via Paddington 
Wait, did the sea stock do the circle line lasso sort of thing? Or were the sea stock still like about like when the circle was still a circle, not a lasso? I'm not sure. Station Notting Hill Gate. Again, this I think now is basically all new, not in phase one. I think phase one was basically like Gloucester Road. It was like Gloucester Road to like Elam Broadway kind of stuff. And Richmond. Must be quite a gradient on here. Oh, that's lovely. I love these stations on this section. Looks so good. These, now these stations are tight for a sea stock because they were essentially designed for a sea stock. <laughs> but that was, I would say, a perfect stop. What was this? It's quite a nice, uh, it's quite a nice little moment there for a little capture shot a little screenshot right base water oh it still looks just so ugly out there it's I wonder if we're actually going to get any snow within this month or maybe even next month. Or maybe winter is almost at an end. I don't know. Alright. Let's just coast now. Like, it doesn't feel fast, but it feels fast at the same time, if you know what I mean. I, I'm only doing like 30. at all. Very nice. Oh, hello. Well, we're in the platform, but obviously this carriage is registered as off-platform, so... A bit annoying. Nothing we can do. It's a little departure on this side. And the next station is Paddington. So we've almost, almost done the first half, essentially, of our little outing to Edra Road and back. And as I say, I'm loving it. Route's nice, route looks authentic. All 
Alright, Paddington's on a little bit of a gradient here. Coming up. So I could just coast it and then break a little later than possible, maybe. Yes. It, would feel, it feels fast hitting the platform, but then you realize, oh, I'm down to 15 already. Are you in the platform? You are. Good. Very good. Loving that. I think definitely on the way back, this this station right here, perfect little thumbnail sort of kind of thing, maybe. Potentially. Sun shining through the roof. The roof. Man, I'm loving this. This is so great. This is really good to drive. Keep calm and drive the district, yep. Definitely a, definitely a thumbs up from me. Backdated train sim do very good work. And I encourage you to just go and download it and have fun with it. Even though I know you probably have already. Because I think it came out in September. It was going so well, like legit, so well, and then I had to muck it up. But don't worry, I have, um, I think I have, uh, <laughs> I like in the manual it just says, at some point when driving on <laughs> virtual district lines, you will accidentally spad. I don't know if this was an accident, probably was, but uh, <laughs> Shall we try and rectify it? Uh, you are required to pass a fail under. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Uh, tri yeah, trip cop. Uh, place it in break one. Oh, there we go. That was probably the quickest sort of rectify that I've done. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and spad averted. <laughs> but at least that that's not too bad. Just basically reset the trip cot and then I could have continued, but I wanted to go back because I didn't know if the section was free ahead, so Let's go. Ignore that happened, guys. I was just so caught up in recommending this route that the spad came. Like, maybe this is just the thing. Every, every video, I'm just going to spad, basically. But I think I'm on a restricted speed now, I do believe. Yeah, I'm restri restricted to 10 miles per hour. Don't know for how long, though. Let's have a quick look. My signals are good. Uh, I'm limited to 10 miles per hour for three minutes. Which is fine. Which is fine. That's I'm getting to the terminus. Luckily, I did it at this end of the terminus where I'm, I'm going to be waiting or stationary. Which is good. 
maybe the best place to have a spad <laughs> just before the terminus. Oh, interesting. They're using this platform for a turn back. Normally, it's normally district line. It's this. It's this platform, which is a uh, two, I think. Right. Little stop marker there on the floor. And I think we're good. Right. Uh, shift H to get uh, that. Uh, shut down the cab. Really? That's 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 it. Oh, hello. Change ends and set your destination to Wimbledon. You are reformed as set 15059. When the starter clears, all stations back to Wimbledon, please. I shall do that. I'll leave the wipers on. I don't really care about that. Uh, uh, there we go. Set. With control shift S, H for headlights, shift L for well actually no, we We didn't Oh, there we go. And I think we're actually ready to rock and roll actually. Uh let me change the destination there to Wimbledon. And Let's rock and roll. Back to Wimbledon we go. With no spads. I promise. Promise no spads. And I do believe we're back to normal speed. We've got full power. I just got so distracted. <laughs> I do want to do a little screenshot at uh, Paddington. I think it was a nice, nice curve. Some good lighting, but the rain's come back, which is a little annoying, but... We'll deal with it. Now, do you power... Well, it goes up to 35 here. Yeah, I don't think you should power up because the platform's coming right now. And we want a nice stop. Don't want it too close to the tunnel. Anywhere there is good, actually. That's lovely, actually. Perfect. Look, look at this poser. Like, to be honest, even though I don't know if the C stock is that massively loved, but it is a very good poser. Like, look at that. With definitely with the roof, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, I think that is literally the money shot right there does it you don't get more district line and kind of virtual district line than this am i right am i wrong let me know in the comments let's get going I was also thinking, like, 
in terms of like video ideas. I don't know if I want to revisit World of Subways. Like I've done actual World of Subways videos on the channel. I've definitely, I've done uh, volume three. I did quite an extensive series back in 2013. I did a series on it. Uh, and then volume two, I did a stream highlight of the full route, which I think I've put my stream highlights back uh, available to watch on the channel. And then volume four, I did a couple of videos on that as well. So I've, I've covered the, the whole kind of like series of the game pretty well, I think. I think the only one I didn't do was volume one. This station is Bayswater. This is a district line train to Wimbledon. And sadly, uh, in this passenger view, the doors don't open on the C stock. I think on the D stock, they do open, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I do like a bit of compressor. Go on. It's like the sound. It just sounds good. Sounds right. It's 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 good. Like, I'm very impressed with this backdated train sim. Like, was I surprised? No. They do deliver. The next station is Notting Hill Gate. Change for the central line. See, that felt fast, but we're not going fast. back to me. Oh crap. <laughs> well, decent. Guess we can watch this other train come in actually. Eventually, I could do also a video with the S stock on this route, uh, but I do need to get the S seven version because for some reason, which I'm gonna, I will talk a bit more about the S seven plus one and the whole thing with just trains and how they released, like they released a S seven plus one with them. It, like it's it's weird. But essentially, people have to cut that one carriage off to make it a proper S7. So I don't understand why they like they could have just done that separately and bond like out. When I get to my Metropolitan Line video, you guys will hear my little bit of a rant about the, let's say the kind of way they bundled up everything because it doesn't make any sorts of actual sense to me of what they actually did in terms of bundling up the um, like which train comes with the route for a discount stuff like that like it's, it's weird oh hello mate I think you might have had a spad too <laughs> 
Is that would that be a spad? Yeah, mate, you, you, this, this is a little bit, little bit cheeky of you. Obviously, I'm rooted first, but like, damn. This guy was, you know, trying to get, you know, trying to get back so you can get home quick enough, you know. So down to 15 mile per hour there for that crossover. Now I wonder if he's gonna just, if this train's just gonna go now once I pass technically that signal. Oh, there we go. It's green. Oh, look at that, look at that distance. That, that, look at that gap. That's like, signaling, like the signal sequences and spacing on like underground so like so much shorter like look there's my train off and this drives this guy's literally behind me so technically when i get to else court he could be uh, they, that train could be like rooted onto another platform which i'd like to see that And maybe he might try and spat again. <laughs> might try and leave Els Court before me. <laughs> now going under the fly over here. It's coming up to Els Court. I'm picking up speed going uphill. Crazy. don't mind about this invisible wiper it's not it's it's it really just works kind of like obviously you want to see the wiper and normally it's the noise that's more annoying but sometimes visually seeing the wiper is a bit annoying so it's nice having a nice clear windscreen magically Just about kept it in. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's see if Compadre is. Uh... Oh no! You can't actually. No, he can't. No, he can't. He can't get. Yeah, he, the, he, the only platform an Edra Road kind of train can come through is actually on this platform. So technically, yeah. He has to just be behind me. Whistle. That sounds like Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. But yeah, there it literally right behind me. But I'll worry about my train, shall I? <laughs> I don't want to have another spad. I just I love that the, the sounds are just like I think one probably one of the best highlights for me This is West Brompton 
change here. For, well, back in the day, it would probably have just been just change here for National Rail Services. This is a district line train to Wimbledon. Very interesting layout for um, the sea stock, like having four double leaf doors per coach. Quite a lot, actually, if you consider it, compared to, like, say, the S stock. Could I do an interior arrival at Fulham Broadway? I don't know. I have a feeling I might cuck it up. But we'll try. But luckily on this section I have a little bit longer uh, platforms to work with because of the D-stock running on this section. Using the HUD. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Zoomed in there a little bit. Well, that's a nice departure shot right there for us to watch. But again, with the like with the Jubilee line uh, phase three on opened up BV, really nice written manual as well for this. So again, if you're stuck with any kind of sort of thing, definitely download and read the manual. There's a manual for the different stock that you drive on this. There's a manual for the map, for the route. With some nice historical facts and stuff like that. The next train to arrive is a district line train to Wimbledon, but it's nowhere here yet. Should we stay here and watch, wait for it while my train goes off into the into the world? Even though it's coming up very close to Parsons Green. Mm, yeah, okay, it's not coming. It's not coming. <laughs> Toot there for some uh, people workers. Oh, nice bit of compressor. I think the issue is this. Well. I need to zoom in a little bit when I'm on this sort of camera because when my FOV is kind of set back, the camera's a bit weird on the kind of like exterior. Just a little bit. Got some sidings here. Oh, Parsons Green. There's actually quite a cool little shorter C stop. See sort of scenario that actually starts here where you're actually in the siding and you're waiting to come out and then you drive down to Wimbledon and I think that's it. Just like a little like a, kind of like a introduction kind of scenario into the C stock. I definitely recommend it if you haven't played the C stock and load up onto this. But we're on the home run, guys. Home run to Wimbledon. 
I've thoroughly enjoyed my little run here. I'm glad I did the return. Again, most people probably won't get to this point in the video in terms of like a lengthy journey like this, but if you have, thanks for sticking around. I could turn off my invisible. Well, actually, it's still sort of raining, but I'll turn it on once the windscreen covers up a little bit more. Putney Bridge, where I think the middle platform nowadays is not there. I think they made the middle platform a through platform and then this platform's not here or I don't know. I don't know how it is. Someone will enlighten me in the comments. I did the same thing. Oh my god. Oh, that is so aggravating. I literally did the same stop when I played this, when I did the like intro C stop scenario. I don't know why. Maybe my mind's looking at the S8 marker, but I was, I was kind of trying to aim for the marker on the. I was trying to aim for, for that, so I should have been a little bit, you know. Hey ho. And then here, on the district line, I mean, well, on the district line, on a D-stock, put up the weak flag so you can go up to, I think like 45 is the max here for LUL trains. Or to be honest, any train actually that come here because that's like the line speed. But we don't have weak fields on the C-stock, quite basic. Just good old stop and go. And the deal is just so nice, like, you know, you can just tell time and effort went into this and I feel it when I drive it, it's just, it feels solid. And optimization, still as good as the first one, uh, so smooth, to be honest, for a very kind of detail intensive maps and I'm actually playing this all in like high scenery density, high scenery quality, everything's high and it still plays like really smooth because I know there's other maps that are not as detailed but I can't play them on the highest setting and even on a lower setting they still kind of lag a bit but that's probably more to do with how much uh, gets loaded in every so often Oh, that's a bit better, I suppose. This station, well, this station is East Putney. I guess these platforms don't pretty much get used. Because this is just kind of like an ECS sort of kind of route for... Uh, for Southwest Train, Southwestern Railway. ground position lights. Those, these ground position lights look really nice. Like, I like the angle. It's just all very, just very nice. That's a good, good modelled position light. A little banner repeater here for this signal. Even though this is it's not really the most 
tightest, it's not really the most tightest like curve where the signal's completely out of view, but I understand why the banner's there. As I said, C stop max normally 40 miles per hour, but it can go over 40. Not easily, but if you leave it open, it, it can, it can do it. Like right now, with a bit of a gradient, it can. But we're close now to Southfields. Straight away, another train behind. Really well done with the AI as well in this scenario. Really well done. <laughs> it's going to go all the way down the platform. <laughs> I, I just like I, I don't really have much else to say about this route like it's just good and you should get it if you like London overground stuff I don't think even if you don't have like overground a uh, London underground stuff you should get it obviously there's like certain requirements that you need to have certain like DLC obviously for like the assets and stuff like that but everything's explained on the uh, backdated train sim website where you can get it from and also, I've been looking at some of their other routes and stuff like that, like the North, old North London line. Uh, what else do they have? There are a few other ones that I'm actually might be interested in downloading and actually having a go at maybe in the future on the train sim playlist. That seems to work. Slap it in normal, get a bit, get a bit of sting off, and then into Rio Static One. I'm not going to stop at the end of the platform. Or should I? No, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop here. It's it's fair for the for the customers, so they don't so they don't so they don't work warp. Perfect. D stock and C stock harmony. Do you miss those door sounds on the D stock though? Line controller uh, is giving us message train 059. Please proceed to Wimbledon to the Wimbledon home signal whiskey 375 and stop in the rear of it. Wait there for further instructions, even if the signal is showing a platform theater indicator. Stop in the rear of it. So, well, I'm guessing that just means just stop before it, you know. I would, that's what I would assume.
Is that one gonna go? Oh yeah, gives me the stop point anyway, so. I'll just let it coast for now. This is so slow, but 29 mile per hour, we're flying. But for underground, it feels right. <laughs> well, at least the signal. Whiskey three five uh, three seven five isn't actually showing anything, so it's set correctly. And not many underground drivers love to go right up to the signal. There's some overlays like on the Bakerloo line where. They stop like right up against the signal. It's crazy on some of them. But obviously, like underground trains, the only thing they can trip is the tr uh, the trip cop thing on the side of the track. They don't have any sort of like kind of thing like a TPWS grid or something like a normal train does. Train 059 Whiskey 375 is out of service due to a fault. You have authority to pass a red signal under the rule. Warn your passengers there will be an abrupt stop and the tra uh, after the train has been tripped. Set uh, set brakes and reset trip cock shifty, then proceed at restricted speed into... Okay, okay. A little bit of um, signal faults and having to pass signal at danger but obviously there's nothing we can't disable trip cot we have to go through it and activate it and basically spad and then carry on which is an interesting procedure but yeah ladies and gentlemen we're going to go through a red signal and we're going to feel an abrupt bit of braking in three two one there we go shift t there we go, and max speed of 10 miles per hour. And that's it. We just cruise in at 10 miles per hour here into platform 3 at Wimbledon, and we're done. And not bad, I like that. We had a, an in, well, we had a driver error spad, we'll say. And we had a instructed spad with a faulty signal with whiskey uh, 375, which I quite like. Not bad. Good bit of variety this uh, this scenario, to be honest. That's a bit of disruption, bit of cautionary signals when we're going up uh, up towards uh, Edra Road, and then on the way back it's a bit clear, and then we have this little bit of a signal thing. We have good AI around us. Not bad. I very much thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, this scenario. I hope you guys did too. I guess let me know in the comments what, do you, what your thoughts about this phase two with uh, the virtual district lines. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but let me know. Prefer C stop, prefer D stop. I think, to be honest, the district line when the C stock and D stock were running was probably the only line that had two different stocks at like just a normal sort of, sort of, oh we don't have to slow down below 10 because 10's our max. Uh, I think it's the only time a line's had like two different stocks like in kind of normal sort of service. Obviously you had like introductions of new trains like on the Victoria line, on uh, 
the subsurface stocks with the S stocks, but I'm talking like just generally in when there was no introduction of new trains. Obviously, back in the day, there probably was a few different stocks and stuff, mixtures and stuff like that on like the central line, uh, northern line, they had mixtures of stock, but in kind of like recent times, probably the C stock and D stock on the district line was probably the place with two different trains on the same line, really. Um, other than that, let's, uh, oh, hello. Another exciting day on the district line. Uh... I hope you threaded your way through all the traffic around you without too many problems. Thanks for the patience and helping out the short no uh, short, no short notice. Get your kit and knock off for the day. I shall. Final destination reach. Beautiful. And I think that is it. Take me out of the game. Or is the game going to... Oh, no. I thought it was going to crash. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. A little bit of a lengthy one, but I kind of just, I thought to myself, let's just, let's just do it. Uh, virtual district lines, phase two uh, from backdated train sim. Very much so impressed. I was very impressed with phase one. Uh, gave you a little bit of action here with the C9, uh, C69 stock, C stock. And uh, I guess I could, there's more stuff I can do with the with this uh, virtual district lines phase two in terms of uh, I could do a bit more with the D, D stock uh, as well run some S7 stock as well I definitely know I'm going to be doing the metropolitan line soon I don't know if it'll be next but it'll be soon on train sim 2020 and uh, my thoughts on that whole thing with just trains uh, but other than that, I very much thoroughly enjoyed making this video and doing this a uh, little bit of a showcase of the Virtual District Clients Phase 2, which I'm late to the party with. But I, you know, I'm here. I tried it out for you guys and I definitely give thumbs up and I'll links down below. Go have a look at it, download it, play it. If you played it, let me know what your feelings are about it in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.